My name is Stefan Gruber, and I am an animator. I like the tension that comes from hand-drawn animation. There's always a little bit more of the human nerve in the line. I make short experimental pieces and I tend to make about one per year. The one I'm working on right at the moment is the conclusion to Petting Zoo. I just put out Petting Zoo 1 on my website, a fantasy pleasure complex. I grew up in Seattle. My mom was a modern dancer at Cornish, and I would just sit and watch her dance. And her dance partner, Brian Chapman, was also an oil painter, beautiful oil painter, and like a, a father to me. He really took me under his wing and taught me how to draw and how to paint. Nova is a great school. I went there myself. It's democratically run, it's got punks and free thinkers. I teach an animation class there. That's the highest he'll ever get, and when his legs are out, that's the lowest he'll ever get. Anytime I'm in a meeting, anytime I'm, I've got any free time, I've got a sketchbook and I'm just drawing, and characters seem to emerge over time. It's just a basic need for me as, as much as sleeping or eating, I have to animate. I know it's what I'm meant to do. It's what I love to do. With Leash Lists, there was a dance that was happening down at Green Lake that I observed, where you'd have two people who would be walking their dogs and the dogs would really want to interact with each other, but the people didn't want to. And the thought that I had when I saw that repetitively was that I wanted to go down and take the leashes off the dogs and put them together so that the people were stuck in a little dance in a loop and the dogs could run free and smell each other and do whatever they want to do. A whole lot of new films that I've been doing have that same theme in mind where there's a liberator and there is someone who's caged or leashed. Someone who obviously has a lot of love and a lot of sweetness. And I want to see that unleashed. I want to see that uncaged. I showed Thought City to a group of third graders on Orcas Island. I asked them all, what do you guys think it's about? One kid just shot his hand up really fast. And I said, yeah, you. And he just like froze. Like he couldn't say it. He, he, knew, he, he knew what it was about, but he couldn't articulate it, you know? And then like five seconds passed and he said, it's about a factory in a brain. And that to me is more what Thought City is about than any other answer. I've done a lot of collaborations with modern dancers. The most recent animation and modern dance piece that I did was with Paige Barnes. We just spilled light and color all over the dancers. I painted on them during dancing. There was a lot of improvisation in that piece. The most important part to me is that it move interestingly, and that the ideas that I have get expressed by the movements that they're, they're doing. So it's more related to dance than any other art form, I think. It's kinetic. You feel it in your body when you're animating. With Aniel, it's a true story, and it's the most fantastic thing that ever happened to me in my life. In France, 
I stayed with a couple in the countryside whose job it is to train athletes to visualize pure color when they're trying to achieve new levels of performance. They had a daughter named Aniel. Who's I think that what's happening in Aniel that I want to get out to people is that the impossible is possible. I love being able to look back and and know that I have these really solid chunks of time, these four minute gems that can just be appreciated by the world as as long as you know as long as they last.